Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sunny T. Right back at you with another podcast for marketers exclusive. Now, I want you to go to Cheeseburger Nation for my podcast, Stealthy Millionaire on Instagram, YouTube. It's podcast for marketers and billionaire vids on Snapchat, billionaire vid without the S on Twitter, podcast for marketers.com for your free MP3 player. You got to pay for your fucking shipping, right? And I have a kick ass SMMA course over there that's kicking Ty Lopez's right in the old britches. You can see all of those links down below in the description and the first comment as well. Go to funnelhackerpro.com for my Facebook group. It's kick ass, man. Dudes are over there making big progress. Smash. That thumbs up, man. I want you to break your fucking mouth, man. <laughs> if you like this video, man, make sure you comment below. Let me know, man. I want to know what you guys think on these videos, man. I really enjoy the comments. I like talking to each and every one of you. And we have a really cool community going over there. So sub, fuck him, subscribe to this channel. If you like the content, I do videos Every day, nonstop. I'll never stop. Boom. So today we're talking about how to get started. Now, um, I've asked people before, you know, what is your biggest problem on um, starting, like getting ready to get your online business together? And one of the biggest things is like how and what to do and where to get started, right? So today is the day that you're going to get started, right? So um, here's the thing, right? So if you're not planning on starting your business today, then turn off the video right now. Just fuck off. Because I want you to, like, if you haven't started your business today and or you haven't started your business and you want to know where to get started, I'm going to tell you what to do today. So don't watch this video. Beat it. Um, put uh, put me in your history to watch later or whatever till you're ready to actually start your business, right? Because that's the first thing you need to get to do, need to do to get started. Stop watching fucking videos, and when you do watch this video, actually get started. So that's the number one thing. Stop watching. and start doing all right so that's the first thing no more youtube videos until you're actually ready to get started right number two mindset understand that when you get started it's not going to be uh tomorrow when you're going to get fucking paid right you're not going to be bling bling in and 50 cent and ty lopez and <laughs> I heard somebody call him Lyle uh, Ly Lopez the other day. I was like, oh, shit. All right, so you're not going to be, yeah, Ty Lopez and, um, and driving a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a Ghost, and you're not going to have a bunch of Lambos and hoes tomorrow. All right? Understand that. So now that we have that, those two things out of the way, to get your mindset right and understand that you're not making money, right? As a matter of fact, I'll make number three that you should understand that you're not going to make money for between 18 and 24 months. If, in fact, you aren't in this frame of mind yet and you don't think that um, and, you know, you're not ready to, to take on the whole 18 to 24 months without making money, then in order to get started, you should be doing something else. If you need money right now today, then you need to go to Fiverr, Upwork. One dude uh, recommended some writing site that's actually cool. I actually thought about doing it myself. Not because I need money. Do you know why I wanted to go to the writing, that writing site? Experience. If I can get experience writing every day for someone else, and writing copy. I'm going to get good, right? So I think they pay something like two cents a word or something like that. Um, I think he said he may like end up making 200 bucks a day just writing for other people. So you need to look for that, Google that, and start writing. Writing is something that you have to know how to do um, if you're going to be on doing a business online. 
especially if you if you're bootstrapped because I'm, I'm talking to bootstrapped people right now right so you know you're somebody that can't hire or pay to hire someone else to do the writing for you and to be honest with you <laughs> i paid some people to do some writing i haven't used it yet because they fucking sucked right so um they probably were practicing so go to fiverr upwork um there's other other places like uh the runoffs of fiverr um just go to one of these places um to 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 start going to work and you get paid right then instantly okay so if you want to make money online fiverr is the place to go just you know or upwork or that writing place seems cool man because that's like right now today money so now that we've got that out of the way so you can get you some if you don't have any money and you're expecting to come to the internet to make millions of dollars today just forget it yes even with your social media marketing agency. Because if you haven't been doing business online, then you don't understand shit about marketing. So why would somebody hire you in the first place? All right. So, oh, well, they would hire you, but then they're just going to fire you the next month. Right. So if you just don't know what you're doing, you know, you're flailing all around. All right. So now, now that we have your mindset out of the way really quickly, I'm expecting you to be to a certain point. You know, that I'm ready to get started, ready to get started, but I just don't know what to do, you know, to get started. Right. So number one, go buy office products. I know you're like, Sonny, this is like, why, why is this important? Because the, the act of buying office products, pens, you know, pencils, um, tablets. I have a, one of my best friends that I've had for a while. The first thing he does when he goes to start a business, a new business idea, he buys a, a all white blank, um, you know, one of those legal tablets, right? It's the first thing he does because he's going to take a ton of notes, right? So that's what I want you to do, right? The next thing you need to buy pens, pencils, staplers, just, you know, a printer, everything that you need. And I need you to set up a desk, all right? Um, my desk is probably... Uh, I wouldn't even say a square two feet. It's like 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. It's really small, but it is a desk. I do have like a coffee cup sitting here full of shit that I use. Um, my hard drives, um, my tablet that I use to do this with and a few other business items. And I have a little shelf with other business stuff. I've got a tape measure under there, all kind of shit. Right. But it's my desk. My microphone is set up. It's a proper desk. And it's small, but it's here. All right? So that's the next thing. And now, after that, if you can afford it, go get a whiteboard. And I don't care how small it is. My wife bought us some whiteboards that are exactly like one foot long by like, I don't know, eight inches to nine inches tall. They're really small, but they are whiteboards, and we do use them. Go get a whiteboard. All right? And on those, you're going to put your goals. Okay, and those are going to change ever so often, right? But you're going to put your weekly goals on that whiteboard, right? That's what you're going to do right now. So get that little small whiteboard. If you can get one big enough to go on, on, a, on the wall, um, we've got a map of Monaco on the wall right now. And I, I would say it's about two feet across. Yeah, and it's a, about a foot and a half down so you no, know, it's a nice little space right go get a nice little whiteboard they're not expensive go on amazon and get a whiteboard and put that on your wall right and get your tablets and your pens and staplers and all that stuff and get your office products right and set up a desk right so that's number two you're going to set up a workspace okay if you don't have a workspace then i need you to get a backpack okay and put all of the shit that you're going to go work with in a backpack. I'm, I'm getting to something really important here, right? So number two is, or, yeah, your workspace, okay? If you don't have space for a workspace, let's say you got a small room or you're still at your mom's house or whatever, or you're in like a studio apartment or whatever, then what I want you to do is get a backpack, and I want to put I want you to put all your legal shit, your little legal pad, your pens and just find little spaces 
and nothing else goes in that backpack but business, right? On the side of it, but you know, I got one a backpack that I traveled around the world with. Um, it's an old uh, New Balance backpack, right? And and on the side of it had a a net for a water bottle. Put your water bottles on the side of it, and that is your business backpack. Because you're going to make a workspace. And if you don't have a workspace at home, an official workspace that's not your bed. It's not even in your room. You need to leave out of your room and get out of your work and get out of your bedroom and go spend time in your wake workspace. If you don't have that, take the backpack and I want you to go to a coffee shop or whatever you enjoy, right? I'm using coffee shop as an example. But you can go to... Um, when I left the States, they had little spaces in Barnes and Nobles. I don't know if they still have that or not, but I used to like those spaces in Barnes and Nobles um, because they had a coffee shop, but you could actually like sit down and read books in the bookstore. It was quiet as fuck. And I don't know what you guys have now over there. That's equivalent to that. But if, if for you, your workspace is an actual workspace, one of those little places that you got to rent or whatever, then go. I'm just trying to give you some free shit. If you want to go to McDonald's and do it, I mean, fuck. I, I've had a part. I had a partner that did. I don't know how he did it, but he would sit there for twelve hours right there at the, where the kids' place was, and let him making all that fucking noise. I don't know how he did that, but I wouldn't suggest that. But a coffee shop is always cool. You know, buy a brew, buy one of the coffees if you can. Nobody's really gonna sweat you if you don't, right? Sit down and get ready to go to work, right? So find yourself a workspace. That's number two. Okay. Number three, you're going to set hours to work. All right, so I don't care how much work you do. I don't care if it's 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever, but you need to work every day in your workspace with your work shit, right? Because people want to know where to get started, right? This is where you get started. What you're doing here is you're creating a habit, okay? So, Sonny, I don't know what niche to go in. Don't look it up right now on your phone, you know, while you're in your car. No. What you're going to do, and here's an example. So you set your hours to work. So let's just say... You're going to work every day for, let's say, you you, you know, because you, you have a job right now. So let's just say, but I'm able to work um, every weekend, you know, um, for uh, one hour a day on, on the weekends, right? So I can work one hour a day on uh, Saturday and Sunday. All right, that's cool. That's a start, right? So now you know you have that started right there, right? So now you know I've set my hours, right? I work one hour a day on Saturday and Sunday on my business. Leave the house. You have to set this up with your spouse or your mom or your dad or your, your significant other, your partner, right? Set this up and say, hey, listen, on, on Saturday and Sunday, on this one hour a day, two hours, right, a week, I'm going to need some alone time, so... I'm going to go in the garage in my office. I'm going to close the door. I don't want to be bothered, right? I'm going to go to, you know, um, Starbucks. I'll be back after an hour. You know, I'm going to do it right after my workout. So I'll be gone for two hours. However you, need to, however you need to set it up, right? Because I know everybody has a life. So I just gave you some really good, simple hours, right? So now, like, let's just say for an example, here's an example. Um, so the weekly goals is I need to find out what, my niche is right so you have to do research to find out what your niche is and what you want to do right so i want to know um what am i going to be doing what's my personality type you know am i good for sales am i good for online business um am i a good fit for marketing online should i just be you know um, freelancing my services there's a million and one things to do right and you need to take stock and find out who you are don't do it now write it down right for shit to do when you go to work on Friday 
So you know on Friday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in my personality traits, right? And I'm going to find my niche. Right? And then on Saturday, for that next hour, I'm going to um, verify the niche. Because once you find out what you want to do, your business idea, right? You're going to verify it by looking to see if there's other people doing it, if there's other people on the market, what's the price point they're charging for whatever it is you want to do, right? So you're going to take Friday, you're going to do that, and then Saturday, you're going to do that, right? And that's all you're going to do, right? So now, you're going to be excited, and all during the week, you're going to be like, okay, shit, I got shit done now, right? So now, on your tablet, on your piece of paper, right, you're going to take the first Everybody can do this. I don't care who you are, right? The first 15 minutes of your day, right? I'm not asking for a lot. I say an hour normally, but I know that's not always easy to do, right? But get up a little bit earlier. Like I know I have a lot of Muslim homeboys. They have to be the first one up and they got to pray in the morning, right? If you're Muslim, get up 15 minutes before that, before your prayer. Actually, you have to do it afterwards, but... Do your prayer 15 minutes earlier, right? So for you, if you're not a Muslim, you just regular people like us, right? You just go 15 minutes before you normally get up, right? So you have to make sacrifices. So if you normally get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, get your ass up at, four, you know, 4.30, right? Get up a little bit earlier and sit down at your desk, right? And weekly, every day, we're going to start writing down what we need to do on Saturday and Sunday. Now, here's the thing. Your list is going to start getting long, right? And so that one hour on Saturday and Sunday, on Sunday, it's going to turn into an hour and a half, right? So you can say, okay, so I need an hour and a half to get my work done on Saturday and Sunday, right? Because I wrote too much shit down that I need to do, right? So to separate your, once you have what you're going to do, like say this is my list right here, right? Okay, so this is Saturday shit and this is Sunday shit. Go to Starbucks and start knocking out the little shit that you need to do, right? So I'm going to give you an example. So say we got our niche, right? We know what we want to do. And now we know that we want to do a marketing uh, calendar, right? Because we know that once we find out what do we want to do, we not be, might not be investing any cash right now. So we're going to do a marketing calendar and shit that we need to do every day, right? So we know that we got an hour and a half now on Saturdays or whatever you say, you know, it, it, don't say don't say an hour and a half and you have more time as much time as you can physically do it so if it's five hours on saturday and five hours on sunday it's better that you do that right the more you work this the more you'll get out of it right so let's just say you have a marketing calendar that you need to start banging out content right so um you know that you want to drip seven blog post seven per, maybe podcast or whatever um, podcast, you know, you want it quiet so you can actually get a microphone connected to your um, your um, smartphone and do it in your car. That's how Russell Brunson started, man, marketing in your car, right? And he would just, the 15 minutes between him going from home to his office, he would just record his thoughts. I'm just telling you how it started, right? And his podcast is pretty big, right? Do, in your niche, whatever that is, that's your podcast, right? But you have to do a marketing calendar to say what you're going to talk about between work and home, right? So you know you're going to write that down. You're going to do your 21 blog, uh, b uh, your 21 post for your, like you need to do three a day for your Facebook page or your Facebook group or your blog post. You need to do your podcast and preferably you shoot a video in your car and you make a podcast, a video, and a blog post, and you do all of this on Saturday and Sunday. So you know you have to write your podcast on Saturday, right, or your YouTube video, right? And then on Sunday, you need to write out your uh, 21 post, 
right? And those are tweets or Instagram or snaps or whatever the fuck it is you want to do, right? You need to do those contents and start stacking up your content, right? And so you take your hour and a half, and I know you could do it in that amount of time because it just doesn't take that long. Why? Because during the week, your 15 minutes a day, you wrote down what I call email uh, beats, okay? And so what you should be writing down, and I'll show you how I do this to my content, right? Okay, this, these are just examples, right? So, but this is how you get started, right? This is the habit that you're going to be creating yourself. But this is just a quick little, like, um, like what I do is what I call email beats. And it's for content as well, right? So when something comes to you, because it's going to come to you every day, right? You need to my wife and I have gotten a habit of writing shit down on our iPads or in our phones or whatever. She actually does it for me, right? I say, hey, write this down. And she'll she'll write it down. And it's just a beat, right? You'll come up with an idea. So to give you an example, I actually dreamed about this. Um, I was taking a nap today. I didn't know what I was going to do. I'm actually doing it late. I don't like doing anything until I have an idea. Um, and it came to me in my head, right? And so I can remember it. It was just, well, that beat was just how to get started, office shit, get shit done. That was a beat, right? That's a beat. So office shit is what I wrote down, right? I did this in my head, actually. Office shit, get shit done, right? Uh, and whatever else I wrote. I can't even remember. I just said it, right? So that's what I wrote in my head, right? Office shit, get shit done or whatever, and, and basically get to work. But I remembered those three things, and that's kind of how I'm breaking it down in my head right now, right? And you'll remember that. To give you an example of um, like an email beat, okay? So um, I always use this story about the Spanish dude, the conquistador that went over to... Um, Latin America or South South America and scuttled the ships, right? So you know you have that Spanish crazy dude. This is exactly what I would have said. Spanish crazy dude, right? And that's the story, right? That's one beat, right? The dude actually went over there and uh, burned the ships. He burned ships. And then I'm going to write another email beat. Um, maybe you should burn your ships. That's my three email beats, right? And that's what I'm going to have right there for my content. So when you're shitting there, when you go back to it, because you're going to be the forgot. Like, oh, fuck. What, did I, what was that? I do this all the time, right? But if I write it down... I remember the shit. So when you get to, oh, he had a Spanish conquistador dude. He burned his ships. And yeah, maybe they should burn their ships too. And the whole thing that you were thinking about will come back, right? So remember these email beats, right? And these are good for content as well. So uh, another thing that you might want to write down weekly, your 15 minutes every morning, man. What you're doing is you're creating a habit and it's going to happen, right? You're going to come up with ideas. You're going to sleep on things. While you're at your regular job, you're going to come up with ideas. And when you do, you start to write those ideas down. Like, for instance, you know that you can start doing content and things like that. And I have a video on that, you know, um, on how, how I come up with content ideas, right? She must say, man, you know what? I would love to interview someone that does blind my fucking um, my niche, right? So that's what you write down. Research. Fuck, but you got to spell it right, though, right? So, <laughs> research, <laughs> right? Research, interview, uh, let's just out, uh, workout dude, all right? Whatever his name is. I always use Lee Haney, right? <laughs> all right. Interview Lee Haney, right? Or Dr. Crackyback. All right. Research, interview, Dr. Crackyback. Or just guys that can do this. Let me see if I can find out somebody that could, you know, to do this. And then here, buy, um, well, you would just call this like, um, industry magazines, right? Industry, uh, publications, right? Buy that this week, magazines, right? And research 
these magazines. So this is your 15 minutes in the morning, what you're Dwight right and doing weekly, because you want to start doing research. Because in the beginning, it's going to be easy to do content, right? After a while, it's going to get kind of like, fuck, what do I say next? So you're going to start doing research on what you should say, right? I'm going to buy some industry magazines and look through those industry magazines and see if I can do things a spin on it. I'm going to see if there's somebody in that industry magazine that might do an interview with me because they need more exposure, right? Um, the reason why I say to get off of like the internet and do this kind of shit is because somebody that doesn't have a big internet presence and they haven't done interviews all over the place, but you caught a little excerpt that somebody did on them in a magazine, they'd be happy to get more press and more, more um, exposure, right? So, and that's one good thing about having a podcast to say, I want to interview on my podcast. Number one is you could literally do the shit on your phone. Just go sit down with them and put the microphone. Um, they have a thing called an iPhone, like an iMic right get the eye microphone you talk then give him the fucking microphone and he'll talk right just old school you know uh reporter shit you know put the mic up to his fucking mouth put it back to yours it's real simple right don't make shit complicated right it's real easy go do the interview um get it transcribed make it a blog post a podcast post boom you got content um and you got some good shit going on right so there's there's how you get started right not doing what I just said. Those were just examples, right? What I just said, and this is how you get started, right? I guess it was good that I gave you examples because now you can see what you need to do. And you're not actually like in business yet, right? You're in the process of business. You're doing the research or whatever, but that's how you get started. Those are those little, I can't think of anything more than a fetus, right? Something really the beginning of something, right? This is your baby. This is the the very beginning of what you need to do to get started, right? Because people always ask me, how do I get started, right? What do I need to do? These are the things that get you started. You create these habits, man. Trust me. Every day, like today, like right now, it's 9 o'clock at night. I'm two hours late. I'm exactly two hours and 18 minutes late from putting up this fucking video, Damn, you're an asshole. Yes, I'm that much. I'm real anal. Two hours and 19 minutes right now. You see how I'm really, really in tune with what I need to be doing, right? I can tell you that I need to post in my fucking group. I haven't done that today. I've been a fucking slacker, right? I can tell you that I'm late with this fucking video. I'm a total slacker today, right? But I know it because I just I watched a movie, you know, I just slacked, right? It's okay, but I'm getting it done. But it's a habit. It's It's inside me. I've created that habit. I'm not going to stop doing it now. It's impossible for me to stop. I can't, The only thing that would stop me from doing this is it'd have to be a catastrophe. It'd have to be like a fucking earthquake or something really bad, man. It's just not going to stop me from doing it. I'm not going to stop ever. Do you hear that in my voice? This, this right here, what I'm giving you is the most important part of this fucking video. I'm not going to stop ever and when you get started this is what I want you to create this habit this right here right so let's recap this right for guys that want to get started because this is not something that you have to feel in the beginning you're going to create this for me, like, I didn't say, oh, well, I want to do a, a YouTube video a day. It's just a goal that I made, and I like it, and I love talking to you guys, right? So then now it's a habit, and I just I can't stop. I'm fucking 20 more minutes, an hour and 20 minutes. You see how I'm watching myself two hours and 20 minutes late right now, right? It just becomes a habit. I'm watching the time ticking. It's killing me. All right, so, but I got to get this off, right? So you're going to set up your workspace, right we're gonna set working hours and just be conservative with your hours man if you can't do it you can't do it right only you can only do what you can but you can take you know you have to take out time this is your business right and do not call it a side hustle this is not a side hustle this is your fucking business i've seen people do that and it just really turns me off if you think of it as a side hustle it's not serious this is your business. The other day, uh, I was talking to my wife, and I said, do you understand how important my business is to me? And I know she knew that, and, but I made her think, this is our life. This is our retirement. 
This is our, you know, our knees in the breeze in our sailboat. This is it. She's like, oh, shit. And she saw it. She already knew, but I'm just saying. I told her how important it's detrimental. This is life or death for me, right? So don't fucking call it a side hustle. It's not a side hustle. This is your life or death. This is ev- this is either you're going to make it or you're not, right? <laughs> I was watching a fucking Ty Lopez video the other day, and he said something that fucking, well, he didn't say it. Somebody else said it. He said, you can always fail back to your cubicle. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It made me laugh so hard. But it's that serious to me, man. You can fail back to your cubicle. I mean, do you hear that? That hurts. It really hurt my heart to hear. And that's what you need to. That's what you need to have in your head. I don't want to fail back to somebody else's cubicle. This is not a side hustle. If it's a side hustle, you need to stop it. This needs to be no matter whether you're doing it part time or not. It, it doesn't matter. It is your business. It's your baby. And it's dead as serious, right? So set up your workspace, set up your working hours, okay? And then get up 15 minutes early, right? Whatever these numbers are for you, get up 15 minutes early and write uh, daily goals on your weekly to-do list. All right. And then on your working hours, do the shit. Coffee break. (sighs) 